Hey everyone, let's dive in this tutorial make an abstract turtle with cloud simulation using geometry node, generative modeling with modifiers, make a few simple materials, and this water effect at the end. Starting with the shell is quite easy actually to achieve. I saw how this can be done in Blender watching other YouTube channels like Clever Poly doing a cool shoes design and Deki 3D making a nice inflated text with it. Back then I used it for commission work where I had to create abstract crap that will be 3D printed and I came up with this conclusion. So what I mean is that this technique is quite versatile and can be used for your project too, whatever it is. And with that being said, we can begin with creating the shell or the mesh that will be filled with the bubbles, starting with a plane in edit mode modeling the shell of the turtle. Make sure you're using reference images of the thing you're doing. Once we have this, we can apply the subdivision modifier. But before that, we can make a new collection, name it backup, hide it, and draw the things we don't need or duplicate all the things before applying the modifiers so we don't have to recreate them later if needed. For the bubbles, we only need a few vertices. Make sure that you have extra objects alone enabled and the edit mode duplicated several times. And we already have the base. Next, with the vertices selected, create new geometry nodes 3, add instance on points right there, then a cube and plug it here. We have to animate these cubes, we don't need more than 20 frames. Make them quite small at the first frame, add a game frame on the size, then go to 15 frame, make the cubes bigger than the shell, and add another game frames here, and that's the animation. To complete this setup, we need a few more nodes here, like subdivision surface, set shade smooth, and realize instances. And now we only have to set the cloud simulation parameters. Grab the shell and go to physics tab, add a collision, and only uncheck single sided option. For the bubbles, add a cloud with quality state to 10, vertex mass to 25 kg, enable pressure with 500 here. On the shape, enable dynamic mesh, collision to 5 steps, enable self collision, and we can decrease a bit of distance. The last thing is to remove gravity, and when we run the simulation, we have this. Usually, have some wrinkles and stuff like that, but this time it looks okay. So, we can now convert it to mesh, but before that, just duplicate it and draw a copy into the backup folder just in case. We can also add a subdivision modifier, and if there are wrinkles, we can add smooth modifier as well. But in this case, we are good to go. Another thing, once, once we convert it to mesh, we can also go to sculpting mode, and by holding shift key, smooth the surface if needed. We can now model the flippers, starting with a plane again and in edit mode to form the shape by moving vertices, extrude faces and so on. Add a subdivision surface modifier, then decimate. If we enable one frame from here, we can see what the decimate is doing. We can use different types of decimate, but for this one let's stay with co-ops. The next modifier is wireframe, frame, and the last one is subdivision surface one more time. Here we can play with the decimate to get different results. We can also click the mesh and when we are happy with the result, add a mirror modifier. It's the same thing for the head and the back flippers. Model it, copy the modifiers and we have this abstractor tool. It's time for the materials, but let's first set up the scene to get a better idea of how they will look like. Adding the plane for background, add a camera. We can switch the rendering to cycles. In the world settings, switch to environmental texture. And here we can add an HRI. I'm using Polyheaven, which is an amazing website having free HRIs, textures, models. So check it out. We can add a few lights, doing a 3 point lighting with the main light, backlight, and view light. Another thing is to adjust the core management from here and we can move to the materials. 
For the flippers, we can use this green and only make it metallic. Link it here as well. The shell now is on mesh, so let's go to edit mode, select everything with A and separate it by loose parts. For this one, let's make something like a goldish material. Add a noise texture to add some details and make it a little bit more interesting. Make sure that you have a note ranger add-on to connect the texture to the mapping and the texture coordinates with Ctrl T. Add a core ramp and plug everything to the roughness. Increase a lot the scale of the noise texture. Grab the next part and let's create something like a chrome metal for this one. The setup is the same, but we can scale only on one of the axes to get the stretching. We can also add a bump and plug it to the normal. Making some gradient cores here by adding layer weight to the core ramp. Everything plug it to the base core and only decrease the roughness a little bit. We can use this setup for other parts as well, but make sure to separate the material before changing the cores. For this one we can make something different by adding more noise texture, plug the core to the core ramp and everything to the roughness, increase the scale and pretty much that's it with the materials. Do some final tweaks if needed, enable camera depth of field and we have this render. We can also create something like uh, ocean environment. For this, add a sunlight, tweak the strength and the angle from here. And keep in mind that the location of the sun is not important like, the, like for the other lights. And what is important here is only the rotation. To mimic the water, we have to create something like caustics. And we will do it by using the plain background and only adding a few notes. I saw this trick from one of Caucasian Caramel tutorials. All these guys I'm talking about are linked to my homepage and I'm sure that you can learn a lot from them so check them out. But yeah basically that's the setup with the geometry plug it to the Voronoi, then core ramp and a few math nodes like minimum, longer rhythm and two times multiply, everything plug it into the emission strength. Make sure to copy exactly the same setup if you want to get this result. We can push it even more from here so let's duplicate this plane. Separate the material, decrease the roughness, IR 1.33 for water, make it transmission and decrease the alpha. Add ocean modifier with resolution to 20, depth to 0, size to 0.3, touch the base core and the emission, scale the waves a little bit, we can tweak the position and that's it. Okay, if you're still here, I want to thank you for watching. I really hope that you learned some and hope to catch you on the next one.